Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we're looking at Battle of the Sexes from University Games. This is for two or more players ages 12 and up. The copyright says 1997, but I think this is actually the 1999 version. Uh, I think there must, might have been a rules update or something like that, but I think this is the 99 version. At any rate, this is a battle between the genders. All oh, both of them. And look, you get a bunch of trivia cards. We've got a game board, eight playing pieces, 330 female questions, 330 male questions, 55 female wild cards, 55 male wild cards, and complete instructions. So let's open this up, see what we've got, and see what this looks like. The box is pretty thin. This, these corners are totally going to split. They are reinforced a little bit, but with material that thin, this box is not going to hold up long. So this one's in really nice shape. It is a three-fold board, so of course you'll want to check the seams. But it is really high quality, so I won't worry about that too much. So here's our gender notification card sections. There's boys and girls and female deck, male deck. Of course you got your bathroom things. So yeah, pretty simple, very cartoonish, very fun looking. Not meant to be serious or anything like that. There's not going to be any political statements, just good old fashioned fun. So nice quality board. Not the thickest board I've ever seen, but it's actually pretty nice. Here's our rules sheet. Pretty straightforward game. It does have a contents list both on here and on the back of the box. So we're going to see a lot of question cards, 110 of them for each group. The wild cards, that's these that I'm holding. These are your question cards. We'll go through some of these and see what they look like. Now there are eight playing pieces. These are pretty standard pieces. There's blue and red. We've seen these type of pieces before. They are replaceable. You can buy these on Amazon and various game piece distributors. But there's four of each. Four red, four blue. I guess they couldn't get pink ones. So let's take a look at the cards and see what they look like. Alright, we'll start with the mail deck and see what these look like. Sadly, the cards are not numbered. Lastly, all right, that rounds out the mail deck. 
Okay, these are the female cards, so let's look at them. And lastly, all right, we'll do this deck next. Let's see what we've got here. There's a lot of cards here, so buckle in.
And lastly, so these do feel a little thin as far as card thickness goes, but not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. And for university games, they tend to do budget games, is what I would call them, where they're not really expensive, but they also tend to have kind of mid-range quality. Uh, this isn't too bad, actually. Okay, let's look at our last deck. And finally, uh, you can see where somebody put a rubber band on the stack. Now, I haven't played this game in a long time, but these cards have held up really, really well. So that is Battle of the Sexes from University Games. I thought it was pretty fun back in the day. I haven't played this in well over a decade. Some of the trivia cards from this edition, which is the copyright 1997, but I think it's actually the 99 edition. Uh, some of the references are very dated. 
there are references to like the A-Team and Friends, X-Files, that sort of thing. So some of the questions are going to be very out of date for younger players. If you're Gen X, you got a good chance of knowing a lot of this stuff, especially if you're an 80s kid. But if you didn't grow up in the 80s and 90s, chances are some of the questions are going to be really irrelevant or very, very difficult for you. But still, I remember liking the game quite a bit and thinking it was fun if you're playing with mixed crowds. It would be better to have two or three of either gender playing at once because then you're going to have a nice assortment of uh, variables. If, if it's skewed with too many people of one or the other, it's going to get kind of boring and repetitive. But fun party game, great couples game. If you're doing like a couples date night, you know, where um, two or three couples are hanging out, this is a really good game to play. It really kind of is a good get-to-know-you sort of thing. So a good mixer kind of game. Other than that, it's a solid normie game. Diehard gamers probably won't like it as much, but it's a good casual beer and pretzels sort of game if you're interacting with people that you're either dating or want to date of either gender. This is probably a good one to try out. So that's about all the sexes. We've seen what's in the box. You've heard my take on it. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you want to help us out in other ways, links are in the description and on the about page for my Streamlabs, Patreon, and Subscribestar. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.